It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tally here. Remember six years ago when Jordan Peterson actually fought against C-16 where basically they try to make the idea of using like the wrong pronouns illegal well guess what they actually went ahead and actually made using the wrong pronouns illegal in Canada firstly it enables the attorney general to create a 2s LGBT QI plus community safety zone to prohibit within a hundred meters of the property any homophobic transphobic act of intimidation threat offensive threats offensive remarks protest disturbance and distribution of hate propaganda within the meaning of the uh, criminal code it also comes with it a penalty of twenty five thousand dollars if prosecuted successfully when i saw this video for the first time it seemed as though that the Canadian government is limiting something that is known in the States as fighting words. The fighting words doctrine allows government to limit speech when it's likely to incite violence or retaliation by the recipients of the words. In other words, if somebody feels as though that the words are actually violent and might actually cause harm to that person, that would be of course considered to be fighting words in the United States context and it seems as though within the Canadian context that because the trans activists feel as though that the words against them are actually violent, that's why they want to have the government to ban, of course, the misgendering of them. I guess the question then becomes, well, can words actually be violent? To that, I would say no. Words cannot, in fact, be the same thing as violent. When I think about violence, I think about physical assault against a person and somebody was actually violent against somebody, they're using like violence like you know their fist or a weapon against that person to commit their attack. But a mere expression of words is not the same sort of thing as physical assault. Could it be an argumentation that certain phrases that are formed into people's mouth can lead to violence? Absolutely. There is something in law that is known as assignment to violence. In other words, if someone commands you to hurt somebody or to kill somebody, that would be, of course, assignment to violence. And that's not necessarily covered, I would say, by most governments. Now that we established that there's a clear difference between fighting words and assignment to violence, is it safe to say that misgendering a transgender person is the same thing as assignment to violence? I will say no. No, it's not. Unless a person explicitly say to hurt a transgender person because they're trans, I would say that does not count as incitement to violence. Underneath that sort of case where somebody actually misgenders a transgender person, that would be fighting words and not incitement to violence. So do I think that the Canadian government should force its citizens to use the right pronouns? I will say no, I do not actually agree with that idea that language should be actually forced by the state on what to say and what not to say. When you make speech illegal, not only are you going to create a whole entire black market for people who feel disgruntled against you, but also there's going to be rising tensions among the Canadian population if they cannot say certain things in their mind. But what do you guys think? Tell me in the comment section section down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare, as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.